time at this round. Let me go ahead and uh, remove it. Okay, Danny, and uh, once you remove that, uh, you'll pre other, and that's P1 handrail Assistance. I'm at handrail 518 on the air mark. Okay, Nicole, stand by. A good view of Danny Olivas at the uh, spent ammonia tank assembly. This huge boxy object that is 57 inches in length, 80 inches wide, 45 inches high. This spent tank weighs uh, almost three, 1,300 pounds. It will be removed and grappled uh, by the uh, Canadarm2 and uh, held in place uh, for the next day and a half until the new ammonia tank assembly is installed in its place during the second spacewalk Thursday by Olivas and Krista Fugelsang. Uh, you move to your right toward the lab. Okay, and then at this point, uh, Nicole, we'll just have you go towards your feet between the modules. Yeah. And Danny, once you have that fuse tether in place, uh, before you BRT to the handrail, uh, we'll have, uh, if you could uh, keep an eye out for Nicole, then once she's in position, we'll be ready for you to do your next step. Okay, I'm um, in the position. The next step referred to by Pat Forrester, who is choreographing the spacewalk uh, for Olivas and Stott. Right, Nicole, I see you there. Yeah. You got a gap center right above your helmet there. Okay. See that one? Yep. There you go. You see me up here? I do. Yeah. There you go. You probably want to get over on the lab. You're on the node right now. And uh, you probably have a better translation path on the other side. There you go. Start moving over to join uh, Danny Olivas at the work site for the release of the ammonia tank assembly. 
The Levis will be opening up a series of clamps as required and uh, close a valve on a quick disconnect, uh, the first of the uh, quartet of ammonia cooling and pressurization lines that uh, will be demated along with a series of bolts uh, that will be released uh, by Nicole Stott to uh, enable that ammonia tank assembly to be removed from its uh, parking place on the Port 1 truss. A little on the high side, uh, drop down one. Yeah, right there. That's where you want to jump on that strut right there. All right, got it. Beautiful. There you go. All right. Nice job. Okay, Pat, you ready for me to DRT? I am. Uh, you can DRT to P1 handrail 3609. Okay, Pat, finally to 3540. Okay, you're going to put a regular fair lead there. Okay, a BRT, Pat. Okay, Danny, I have gotten a go from the ground for the QD ops, so you can open the thermal booty and the TA clamps for M2. Okay, we're going to two first. Safety tether? And a heads up for both of you, we're about uh, three minutes from sunset. Thank you. As Discovery and the International Space Station uh, prepare to move into an orbital sunset over the Amazon jungle, Danny Olivas and Nicole Stott now 30 minutes into their spacewalk. Not, not yet. Would you like me to? I would like to know if my other is. Yeah, hang on a second. All right, Nicole. Yeah, I have a good visual on you. Okay. And uh, you can just continue your translation. Well, I need a fair lead here, so I'm just trying. Uh, it's down basically left, right by your legs. Between your legs, so you pitch your body uh, to you pitch forward, so kick your legs back. Let's see it. There it is. You see it? Got it? Yep. All right. Okay, the thermal booty is removed from M2. There are no TA clamps I need to remove at this time. Okay, I copy, Danny. We are going to close the valve when you're ready. I am ready. Check that the aft white band is visible. Aft white band visible. Detent button can be depressed. Detent button can be depressed. I want you to push the veil towards the open. Okay. 